Can you talk a little bit about the various spring bean scopes? Yeah, sure. Spring allows us to define a scope on the bean which we declare either in the XML or by using at component at and at service annotations. That is when we auto wear them. When using the XML configuration, we can use the scope attribute on the bean element to define the scope. And when using that component at service, etc., we can use the at scope annotation to define a scope. Spring supports multiple scopes starting with the singleton which is the default scope so if we don't specify any scope it will use singleton singleton is good when we don't have any state in that object because the same object will be used across the application context so multiple objects and multiple threads which depend on that particular bean will use the same instance of that bean so we can use it when we have stateless objects especially the database access layer in our application is a good candidate for singleton throughout the application statelessness is good but if we for some reason if we don't have stateless beans we should go for the prototype scope when multiple threads or multiple objects are depending on a particular bean which is not stateless which is maintaining state across instances then the prototype scope should be used so these two scopes are available in the application context and we have three more scopes which are available under the web aware context that is the spring mvc etc which use the web application context of the spring the request scope as the name itself says if we define a bean in the request scope that bean instance will be created per request session for the entire session there will be only one bean instance that will be created the global session which i have rarely used is for the portlet aware application context so if we have multiple portlets in our application which share the same global session then uh, if we define a bean under the global session scope there will be only one instance for the entire portlets for all the portlets in our application to summarize spring at a minimum support singleton prototype and three other scopes we can define a scope using the scope attribute in the application context or the scope annotation so singleton scope is a good candidate when our objects are stateless and prototypes should be used in a multi threaded environment or any environment that has statelessness which is not stateless and request scope session scope and global session scope can be used in the web application space request will create one bean per request or one instance of a bean per request session for the entire session there is only one and the global session can be used in the portlet context